Hi, my name is Rafila Mohale. I am from Alexandra Gauteng. I'm a first runner-up for Miss Bachelorette South Africa 2023. And I've just recently started running my own uh, production company called Refile Purpose Media. Refile, why did you go into modeling? I'm not a typical model really. I saw an opportunity when I saw the objectives and the goals of the Miss Bachelorette South Africa and I took advantage of the fact that I really want to do some community work. I really want to make an impact in my community and I believed this platform was perfect as it aligned to all the projects that I want to take part in in my community. Was this your first meeting? In 20 years, yeah. Wow, okay, but you still got it. I even saw the walk. <laughs> take, take me through to the, um, the mental process of how, to, what did you do to prepare yourself for this particular event? Alright, first you need to really define the reason why you want to enter uh, or take part in a platform like this one. You need to have it clear why you want to take part uh, for, it, for, for in it. Uh, mainly for the purpose of using or, or growing, being able to grow the brand. Uh, two, you really need to uh, get into you need to understand what the goal is uh, for, for whatever platform that you want to enter in, whatever pageant that you want to take part in. You need to understand why or things like that. So preparation, it's clearly intentionality. So if you're intentional and you know your why, then you're able to clearly define the things that you need to do uh, to stay sane or to go for the, um, meet the task that uh, they give during the process. Why is it important to you uh, to do community service? I saw with Miss Bachelor that went to Alexander recently. Yes. Were you there as well? Yes, I was. And how, what was the feeling? I want you to take me through the feeling mm, when it, you see people mm, in the entire need and yeah. they're there to assist. It was really heartwarming because this is my hood. I am from Alex and I know the atrocities that are in Alexandra and uh, it was just really heartwarming to see that uh, a pageant like Miss Bachelorette chose a place like Alex that may easily been forgotten um, to try to alleviate uh, the effects of um, disadvantages. So for me it was, um, it was very close to home because I am from that community. I know what we go through and I'm not going to say they because I'm also part of it yeah so it, it was really touching to see the impact or the need or what yeah the need of, of what what needs to happen what what help needs to be given out to those people and I'm standing and saying I will continue I will not stop because I'm not queen you know what I love about you is that you came from that background yeah Disadvantaged, you know, Komora, everyone will talk about Komora. Yeah. They, they just despise it. Yes. But you came from there. Yeah. You came out and you conquered and you won. Yeah. I want you to motivate among your fellow Komorians out yeah. there that they need to go and believe in themselves. Yeah. What do, what do they have to do to win? And this is exactly what I, because I stood up and spoke to the young girls and, and families that we were helping from uh, on the foundation visit, I said to them, they must never look down on themselves. They must never lose hope and think that's where we end up. That's, Alex is not the end of their lives. Or uh, the poverty that they may currently be in, is not the end of their capacity or capabilities. So we need to change mindset and it, they have to step up. Because for change to happen, one needs to make that decision that I want to change. Therefore, going back the next time we go, we will be able to identify exactly where we can meet a need to empower and not only to just um, assist uh, uh, with with food parcels and things like that, which is the goal of Miss Bachelorette Foundation. Thank you. I mean, if you're exposed to um, situations like we are exposed to in Alex, you can never be immune to it. Yeah.